So here we have the Ford Transit Connect on a 20 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the van and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's got alloy wheels. We'll start off inside the cargo area and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As you can see, as we approach the back of the van, we have reversing sensors. Uh, the vehicle has been ply lined and we've got that full metal bulkhead as well. OK, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front and then we'll hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. OK, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And above that, you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. That information can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. And above that, the total miles for this van, which are 7,531. Let's say that information can be changed for various different menus from your phone, audio, settings, trip computer, and then back round to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are here, beneath which we have cruise control and speed limiter. On the left-hand side, sorry, the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone as well. Just underneath here, you can see the button to start and stop the engine. You just need to make sure that the key is in the car. Hit that button and the car will do the rest for you. Uh, then we have the stereo system just here. So you can uh, make adjustments to the way you wish that you listen to your music. With every push of this button, you'll see it'll offer us uh, a different music uh, option. And we have the radio, of course, as well. And you can see there we have DAB, FM and AM radio. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. To pair your phone, hit the phone button just there and then follow the instructions on screen from there and on your phone screen, of course. Working our way down, we have some storage just here. Uh, this will also support wireless uh, phone charging. So if you pop your phone in there, as long as your phone charges wirelessly, it will charge when you put it on that pad. Below that, we have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns the air conditioning off or back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the van. That's a great way of heating up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here. You've got your heated mirrors just there and a heated front screen over on that side. You can turn the whole system off from there should you wish to. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings. Below that, we can put the van in eco mode we can turn off the traction control and we can turn off the stop and start. This vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off from here. And then finally, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this van for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.